Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Hi, welcome to SBR4 Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are continuing our uh, spring training coverage with Doug Upstone. Today is March 5th, and Doug Upstone, of course, is on the scene, on location in Arizona, reporting for us uh, on these uh, spring training games, doing team previews with them all spring training long. Doug, thanks for being back with us. Hey, Peter, my pleasure to be back. And uh, yeah, we got the, uh, I'm at the home of the Diamondbacks, uh, which also happens to be sort of a home game for me, because mm. about four miles from where I live. So that's a pretty good deal today. All right, sounds good, and uh, we're going to cover at the Arizona Diamondbacks right now, and uh, Arizona, to my eye, looks like the ultimate average Major League Baseball team, right? I think they were 81 and 81 last year. They were right in the middle of uh, Major League Baseball in terms of the money standings, number 15, so they were basically dead even. Uh, they were a little bit unprofitable when you factor in the VIG. Their bullpen ERA, number 16, everything was right in the middle. Not a terrible team, but uh, just basically very, very, very average. You think that's what we're going to see again this year from them? Uh, you know, it's, it's funny, uh, Peter, even taking it a year back, they were 81 and 81 in 2012. <laughs> and guess what their win total is this year? 81. By the makers. <laughs> 81. <laughs> so, you know, when you look at this team, aside from Paul Goldschmidt, they really do have just a bunch of, of, of players that are either average or slightly above, you know, in their, in their starting lineup. So it's really hard to look at them and say, you know, there's going to be significant improvement. Now, locally, there's a lot of talk and a lot of excitement about Mark Trumbo being added to the lineup. But, you know, he, he'll certainly hit a lot of home runs, especially in a pitcher-friendly, or excuse me, a hitter-friendly park, uh, like they have at Chase Field. But he'll also cool the stadium off significantly with his swings and misses and have 175 to 195 strikeouts. So that's, that's another factor. So just from the hitting standpoint, I'm not sure that there's any real improvement here. All right. Well, you know, from a betting standpoint, having a, having a solidly average team is not necessarily a bad thing because that means you can bet on them when they're going against a team that you want to bet against and bet against them when they're going against a team that you want to bet on. So, uh, you th so but, you know, the addition of Trumbo, maybe that, that you don't think that's going to give them like a big boost up into maybe uh, the upper third at least in terms of the money standings? History is such that, you know, when he's hot, you know, he's yeah. somebody that you can ride. You know, and so that can last, you know, six or seven days at a time. But then he'll also then for two weeks, you know, not do anything, strike out, you know, uh, two or three or two, at least twice a game. And so, you know, he's a real negative, and that has a negative impact on your team. So, you know, when you, you know, yes, you're right. When they're going well, the Diamondbacks have some value. When they're not, they're definitely a play against the team. So maybe they will be uh, the kind of team where, uh, you know, overall they're about average, but in spots they could have some good value on or against. How's the pitching looking overall? Uh, you know, Patrick Corbin certainly has established himself as, as the number one guy. And, you know, and the thing that impressed me is that last year in, in watching him pitch is that he picked up a lot of velocity on his sinker. So mm -hmm. to match that with his, with his slider and his curveball, I think, is really making a potential stud, you know, as, yeah. as a, in the National League. Uh, but the rest of the pitchers, you know, they have a bunch of guys that historically have pitched, you know, okay in the big leagues. And I think that's what you're going to get more of the same. The Trevor Cahill, guys like that. I mean, they're just, they're basically 500 pitchers and, you know, maybe a game or two above or below is what you're going to get. Now, the bullpen is a little bit different story, at least potentially, you know, because they added uh, Addison Reed from the Chicago White Sox. And then Beagler and Foots have both have experience as closers, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes effective, sometimes not. But, you know, potentially the bullpen has, you know, a, a nice variety of pitchers, especially if one guy gets hot or if one guy gets cold, somebody can certainly fill in. But, you know, overall, you know, I, I just don't see this as a playoff team at all, Peter. Uh, again, I think it's a very average 500 team that could win anywhere from 73, excuse me, 79 to, to 83 games. All right. Thanks so much, Doug Upson. Great call once again. We'll talk to you again very soon.